there is a huge debate going on between Hinduism and Hindutva and frankly one is also being seen as sort of a bad word where it's all about rituals, all about pressurizing a certain vote bank. Is there a diff how do you differentiate between the two? Well, Sanatana Dharma mm -hmm. has been reincarnated many times. We believe in the rebirth theory. So the Dharma has come at many times, many ages in new forms. Mm -hmm. So the modern version was called Hinduism. And now in the last two to three generations, the Hindutva is another version. So I think this is a more recent reincarnation of Hinduism. But Hinduism is an old faith, even older is the Sanatana Dharma. So this version of Hinduism has a very strong political dimension to it and a social dimension to it. You see, until Hinduism, until the Dharma was challenged by outside religions mm. for a long, long time, it was very relaxed. It was an open system. People would come, migrate, settle down. Some of the earliest Jewish communities, Syrian Christians, they all came and they lived here very happily. They were welcome. Only recently, in the last you know, few centuries, mm. the foreign-born religions became very assertive, started becoming very aggressive started in fact attacking the dharma so the dharma has to respond and so there's many kinds of interventions in india to exploit caste divides north south aryan religion divides gender divide so there's a whole ecosystem in india of activism and a lot of indians have sold out into that actually they're working for western or foreign nexuses and reporting to them being trained by them but some of the foreign based religions are actually getting their orders and directions and pointing at a foreign nexus for ideas ideologies and legitimacy and so they are serving as either you could call them a consulate of a foreign uh, country or you could uh, consider them as a branch office of a foreign multinational it is one thing to say that somebody is a christian hmm. it's another thing to say that he reports to the vatican for authority for funding for direction for appointment of uh, leaders so when a foreign religion is controlling how it is being practiced in India. It's almost like an MNC's branch office. And I see a worldwide campaign to discourage, to, to disparage us, to undermine us, uh, which is an organized conspiracy. I've written a lot of books on that. So I think we need a political response also, which maybe was not required in earlier centuries. But today we need it. So I think the Hindutva is a response to threats which are genuine threats which have come from overseas. Exaggeration is also a problem and that's because the people are lazy to have checked their facts, they are not scientific enough to have really done rigorous research and a very bombastic, arrogant, egotistical kind of a just chauvinistic over display of Hinduism is counterproductive. We lose credibility when we do that. But my feeling is that the true Sanatana Dharma welcomes diversity. And if somebody has the Quran Dharma, that is also possible as a Dharma. And if somebody has a Bible Dharma, that is also possible as a Dharma. And if somebody has Jesus as an Ishta Devta, that's also fine. But the real test is, do you subscribe to mutual respect mm -hmm. for others? If, if somebody from another faith is willing to respect my practice, I'm willing to respect their practice, there will be harmony. harmony.